All right, Shalom, Shalom, Yasharala. Back at it again with another Lord with an edifying video. Through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Before I go any further, I want to give all honor and all glory and all praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. And next up, double honors to our apostles and other bishops of Great Millstone who still go out there in the highways and hedges and feeding us with 100% truth according to the Bible and Ruel, and Shalom, Labachorium, Wabarakium, Shoyasharala, which is peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel and the last of Kodash, the Hebrew tongue. And, the, and this lesson is going to be centered around fearing Yahweh Bashem Yahashah, man, you know. As we in the uh the evil days, man, you know, we see our prophecies being fulfilled more and more, you know. She definitely be fearing Yahweh by Shimar Shah more talking to myself, of course, first and foremost. So the first precept we're gonna grab is the book of Ecclesiasticus. Let's see. Uh this is the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter twenty-three, starting at verse twenty-six. Matter of fact, uh verse twenty-seven. This is Sirach 23 and 27. It says, um, it says, And they that remain shall know that there is nothing better than the fear of the Lord. See, there is nothing better than fearing Yahweh Bashim Yahweh which is what? The beginning of the knowledge of wisdom and understanding of the scriptures. And as it is written in the scriptures, there ain't nothing in this world they be that can be compared to the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the Bible. Okay, because this 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 truth, the understanding of the scriptures is far more valuable than any riches that we can obtain on, on this side. So this is a Sirach 23 and 27. Again, it says, And they that remain, they is re referring to the elect, shall know that there is nothing better than the fear of the Lord, than the fear of the Lord, and that there is nothing sweeter. That to take heed unto the commandments of the Lord. Yep, see? So once we get the understanding of the scriptures, we start applying the scriptures to our day-to-day -day lives to the best of our abilities, man. And there ain't nothing sweeter, there ain't nothing better than to taking heed according to the commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahushah. You know, which is what? Keeping our mind occupied on the prophecies, watching for them, you know, and uh being brotherly one to another, you know. Uh, you know, just keeping the commandments, the law that just commandments of the Bible to the best of our ability, which shows that we love and first and foremost fear the Lord. So that was it. Let me see. And that was it on that, on that precept. So now let's go to the book of Ecclesiasticus or Sirach chapter one, verse 14. It says the, to fear the Lord, Yahweh Shimei Shimei is the beginning of wisdom. All right. Of what wisdom? Of the knowledge of wisdom and understanding of the Bible. Because back in the world, we had the, the wisdom of the world, which according to the Bible, that's foolishness with you. How about Shimei Shah getting these different college degrees and high school diplomas and, you know, your, what is it, uh, your GEDs, you know, so on and so forth, man, you know. But when we came in, when we started fearing you, how about Shimei Shah, fearing those names, we started to understand the scriptures more. So this is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 1, verse 14. To fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and it was created with the faithful in the womb. See, this is going back to predestination. Okay? Yahweh Bashim Shah selected certain spirits, you know what I'm saying, to, uh, to, to understand the scriptures, you know, and to, uh, to teach them, man, when they came down to the earth, you know? Like Jeremiah 1, it says, the Lord said, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. I mean, meaning he knew him, you know what I'm saying, when he was in the spirit world, you know? And he sanctified and ordained Jeremiah as a prophet, you know? And so did he did to us, you know? Starting off with the head apostles, you know, the bishops on down, and of course, the elders that taught our apostles, you know? So, that was it for that precept. Let's go to the book of uh, Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 7, just to back that up. It says, this is Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 7. It says, 
the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. It says, but fools, yeah, blockheads, meatballs, goons, and savages, you know, aka uh, ninjas, right? It says, despise, which means to hate wisdom and instruction, right? See, so they despise when we go out there on the highways and hedges, you know, and teach the truth according to the Bible, and also how we conduct ourselves in this life, man. You know, they hate the fact that we don't eat you no know, pork, shrimp, crab, lobster. You know, we don't uh, commit adultery. We don't celebrate our birthdays and these pagan holidays, you know. And they hate it when we tell them about it as well, you know. But guess what? They're a bunch of fools, though, you know. So I'm going to read this over. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, verse 7. It says, uh, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom. And instruction, right? Instruction, warnings, man. All right. And guess what? And that's being carnally minded. And as it is written in the scriptures, the apostle Paul said it himself. It says to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. You know. So now let's grab another precept. This is the book of Psalms, one eleven, verse ten. It says, "The fear of the Lord." Is the beginning of wisdom. It says a good understanding. Have all they that do his commandments. See that's that that uh that that ties into that Sirach the twenty third chapter that I read, man. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. As a matter of fact, when you go into that word good, it goes back to the Hebrew word tawab, of course. It says better, excellent, rich. It says prosperous, appropriate, man. So having the fear of Yahweh Bashem Yahushua, you'll be able to get excellent or better understanding of the scriptures. And then you're going to be able to keep the laws as its commandments better to the best of your abilities. You know? So like, you know, hold on for one second. 